Ah, good morning. Uncle Lou here. Uh, hope everybody's having a good week. Thursday morning here. A little chilly outside again today. Uh, here, no big deal. Uh, anyway, uh, need to go ahead and make a video uh, about this Georgia-Arkansas game. Uh, I really hate to do this, uh, but I have to, uh, and I need to, too. So, uh, Uncle Lou, uh, gonna go ahead and predict, uh, a victory here, uh, for Arkansas. Um, I didn't come to this conclusion easily, uh, or without a lot of thought but uh, after doing uh, a little homework here I've come to the realization that uh, it's pretty much a guarantee um, that the hogs uh, Arkansas are gonna go ahead and get uh, another moral victory in this game uh, that's right, I think uh, it's going to be a close game, uh, which of course is bad news for Arkansas. They don't know how to win. Uh, they have Tennessee disease. Uh, yep, so Arkansas will get the moral victory in this game. Uh, I don't know, let's say... Mm, I'll go... 31 to 27 dogs, uh, which is a great moral victory for Arkansas. Uh, another moral victory that they can add to their list here. Uh, moral victory against Alabama. Moral victory against Texas A&M. Uh, they're stacking up moral victories right and left here. Uh, similar to Tennessee. Uh, in fact, I was thinking, or I saw on Facebook where they were projecting uh, uh, which SEC teams were going to go to which bowl games. Uh, and they left Arkansas and Tennessee off the list. So, um, I think we should create a new bowl uh, for Arkansas and Tennessee. They can play each other in this bowl every year. Uh, the Moral Victory Bowl. Uh, that's right. Uh, Tennessee and Arkansas both, if you watch post-game press conferences from their coaches or uh, whatever, they always act like they won the game just because they are able to lose by not a lot. Basically, anything other than getting blown out uh, for Arkansas is a victory, which is pathetic and sad. These people haven't won an SEC game in two years. Uh, Lane Kiffin only scored 14 points on you, and you still lost. Uh, just embarrassing and sad. Um, you now you guys, uh, you guys do have a pretty good run game, uh, but I think Georgia's going to be able to uh, contain <clears throat> contain that, uh, and I don't think you'll be able to do the same. Uh, Georgia's defense has been improving every week. I look for that to continue this week. Uh, uh, look for a good performance out of our defense. Um, Todd Gurley will not be back for this game. I'm ninety nine point nine percent sure of that. Uh, so we got Nick Chubb again. Uh, super white boy Brendan Douglas. We also have moved JJ Green back to running back uh, He's played running back before they moved him to defensive back uh, He'll be back at uh, running back probably only for this week Because um, after this game we'll get a couple more running backs uh, Back from injuries Keith Marshall and Sony Michelle so they'll be able to move JJ Green back to safety, but uh, He's playing running back this week. So that gives us three uh, with Nick Chubb Brendan Douglas and JJ Green uh, Hudson Mason, uh, if he can continue to complete six-yard passes uh, and not throw any interceptions, uh, that's about the best we can hope for out of him. Uh, so, yeah, this will be a pretty good game here, but going to go ahead and give the uh, predict the moral victory for Arkansas here. Uh, Brett Bielema, I don't like you, sir. Uh, when you were in the Big Ten, uh, you had nothing but bad things to say about the SEC, which is hilarious because now that you're in the SEC, you can't even win one friggin' game. Uh, and if you go on Facebook or, or, or anything and, and, and look at these Arkansas uh, pages, if you take out the word Arkansas and put the word Tennessee in, they're identical. 
uh, both the same uh, all this wait till next year and look how close we are and isn't that awesome that we didn't get blown out uh, we only lost by X number of points that's amazing uh, wait till next year uh, brick by brick uh, you know but anyway uh, yeah dogs are gonna win this one uh, so that's pretty much all there is to it so until next time uh, good morning and go dogs too